So we've talked about breast density a bunch before, but you really need to sometimes see what it is that we're talking about to understand it. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN, I love women. And let's talk and look at breast density. So breast density comes in four categories, A, B, C, and D. A and B are minimal to very mild amounts of density, and C and D are more and significant breast density. So if we look here, we're gonna see the A and the B level. And if you look at the breast tissue, you can see that it's not particularly very cloudy. You can kind of see right through it. And what's interesting is the little star that they're putting here is supposed to represent what cancer could look like if you were looking at the imaging. So you can see in A density, where it's easy to see through, you can see this star very easily. And then you go on to the B density, where it becomes still able to be seen, but there's a little bit more sort of traffic in that area with density and things that are confusing the picture a little bit. But if we go over here to C and D, you can see how this gets really confusing. Because in C density, where you have more dense tissue, that little star becomes really tricky to see. And in the D density, it's almost impossible to see, which means that the same cancer, the same size, with the same characteristic look to it, becomes much more difficult to find. So what does this mean for you? It means that you should be talking with your provider to see if they can order and get through insurance, the idea of you getting a breast ultrasound where we have the ability to see those abnormalities more easily if the breasts are dense. You still need the mammogram, you just need the additional ultrasound support to see through that tissue.